Well, if you're missing the snow this winter, our weather team has some promising news. A Lene a a La Nina watch, excuse me, is in place for later this year. Meteorologist Matt Gray is here to break down what it all means. And Derek, if there was ever an ideal scenario from a climatological pr pr perspective for us, this is it. As a reminder, El Nino and La Nina, opposite ends of a cycle of water temperatures and weather changes across the Pacific Ocean. And when this cycle changes, it creates changes in weather patterns across the world, including right here in the inland northwest. So here's what we tend to see for El Nino and La Nina conditions for this cycle here right here at home. Now, as you can probably tell by the lack of snow and pretty mild temperatures this winter, we are in a pretty strong El Nino, but the U.S. Climate Prediction Center is now saying we are setting up for a crash. Take a look at how these cold Pacific waters are starting to eat away at that warm El Nino waters in the East Pacific in this animation. Now this is actually going from the top of the water to the bottom there. So this is a depth wise view. Strong El Ninos have a history of ending pretty abruptly. And when they do, well, they can switch to La Nina pretty quickly. Here is the latest forecast from NOAA. By late spring or early summer, we should expect to be out of El Nino and into neutral conditions, neither one. But by the time we get to the middle or end of summer, we could already be in La Nina, if not even earlier than that. The odds of La Nina by the start of fall, over 75%. Now, there is one thing that could mess this all up, or at least mess up the effects of our transition to La Nina, and that is how hot the oceans are right now as a whole. Over the last 11 months, those lines at the top of your screen, the world has been in record-setting territory for ocean heat content, and we have seen in the past that warm temperatures, especially in the North Pacific, end up having a warming and drying effect on our weather here in the Northwest. So am I ready to call for a snowy winter a whole year ahead of time? No, but La Nina is a huge part of us getting to a place where we can be confident in saying that. And I think in a few more months, we'll be ready to make that call. Derek.